This is a video for Writer's Choice 8.4 Grammar. The assignments that would come before this one would be 8.3 Grammar and Quill Sets 2 and 3. If you have not finished those, I would recommend to go back and do those first so you're not lost. 8.4 deals with identifying subjects and predicates. Again, as a quick repeat, subjects are who or what the sentence is about, and the predicate is whatever they do. Okay, so your subject here, Washington Irving described New York in his stories. Now, to kind of preface this, uh, 8.4 has a lot of questions about this person, Washington Irving. Uh, it's a man's name. First name, Washington, last name, Irving. He wrote the short story, The Legend of Sleepy Hollow, which you might know. Um, but here is our uh, sentence here, Washington Irving described New York in his stories. Our sentence is about him, Washington Irving. What did he do? He described New York in his short stories. Now, the predicate sometimes is split. Now, here we have an extra part of the word in front of the subject. Uh, do people still read his stories? People is what the sentence is about. But the predicate is actually do still read. So quite often you might have an extra word in front of um, the verb that would show up after the subject. Um, did, will, have, was, those sorts of little helping verbs uh, often come before um, the rest of the predicate. So here's your list also. Here is, here are, there is, there are. And that sort of thing. Okay, so there's two sections to 8.4. In exercise 7, we're going to go through three questions for each section. Um, exercise 7, you're dealing with the complete subject. So who or what the sentence is about, and complete means all of the words dealing with that subject. Now if the sentence is a command, the subject is you. And it's in parentheses because the word you won't be there. But if it's telling someone to do something, it's a command, uh, that's going to be the subject. Okay, so we're going to do number one, two, and three together. And you can use these answers when you go to do your assignment. So number one, we're dealing, dealing again with complete subject. Did Washington Irving achieve international fame? Who or what is that sentence about? Did Washington Irving achieve international fame? Well, it's about that guy Washington Irving. And did would go with the predicate with achieve. So it's just his name, Washington Irving. Okay, let's look at number two. Name two stories about Irving's childhood in New York. And again, we're looking for the complete subject. So who or what is this sentence about? Well, it talks about Irving's childhood, but it's kind of at the end of the sentence. Is this a command? Name two stories about Irving's childhood? Yes, it's telling whoever's reading this, to do something. So the subject is you. It's a command. Number three, there is a Washington Irving story with roots in German folklore. And again, we're looking for the complete subject. So who or what is the sentence about? This Washington Irving story. And there is would be um, part of the predicate. So we need the complete uh, subject, so everything dealing with that Washington Irving story. So A, Washington Irving story with roots in German folklore. So everything from A to folklore would count for the complete subject. Again, complete means everything. So A, Washington Irving story would not be enough. You need everything there all the way to the end. Okay, so those are the complete subjects. We're going to move down to... Exercise 8, where it deals with complete predicates. So we figured out at first who or what the sentence is about. Now we're figuring out what they did. So again, um, if the command and the sentence is a command, that subject is going to be you. So keep that in mind. You're not going to have to pick those uh, command sentences out necessarily, um, but it might affect the predicate. So we're going to do 21, 22, and 24 for exercise 8. So 21, learn more about Washington Irving. That looks like a command. So the subject would be you. The predicate, what are you supposed to do? Everything else. Learn more about Washington Irving. So again, complete predicate means everything else. All. Okay. 22, was his life interesting? 
who or what is the sentence about? His life. What about his life? Was interesting. This is when we have one of these helping verbs in front. Was interesting. Okay, and then let's do 24. 24. There was a history of New York published under that name. A history of New York is all capitalized. That's the title of a book. So who or what is the sentence about? That book, A History of New York, published under his name. What about it? There was. And that's it. And that's how you do 8.4.